All right, from the serious stuff to the big kids at Sky, we sent them on the road with the McDonald's road trip. Let's catch up and see where Izzy and Joey are now. Hi, yep, we're, um, we're live here from Napier, Nelson Park. Q graphic. Uh, crossing to you live from uh, Nelson Park in Napier. We've tracked down some of the hottest rugby analysts in the game. Ross Taylor, thanks for joining us. Uh, obviously in the weekend, the All Blacks kicking game uh, was a big talking point during the week. Probably didn't nail what they wanted to do in terms of their box kicking, their contestable kick kicks, and also playing for territory. Whereas on the flip side, probably the Australians really nailed that. Their blockers were really good, their escort runners were really good. Uh, how did the All Blacks fix that to nail it at Eden Park? Um, I thought this was about playing on Christmas Day and training and stuff? I know who'll know. How do we fix it, Murph? Well, it's good timing, fellas. I was uh, just uh, finishing up a report here for Fozzie on what should be done. Uh, it's pretty simple in my book. Uh, they probably already know this, but you know it needs to be said. Uh, three things. Uh, they need to kick from the wide rucks, from the edges, right? And with good blockers. The blockers need to be doing a better job. You know, that's pretty simple. Um, also, we need the wingers to have like a, their head on a swivel, right? Mm -hmm. They've got to be man, ball, man, ball, right? Yeah. And I reckon uh, I've got a name for that. I think it should be called from now on the swizzle. The swizzle? Yeah, yeah. all right. And thirdly, uh, when they do kick, they've got to pressure, put pressure on the kicker, put pressure on his inside knee, right? Really focus on that and escort the chasers, mm -hmm. right? Pretty simple. And then, mate, turn and burn. <laughs> Turn and burn. And Great. it's done. about to send it. Send. There you go. Great stuff, Murph. Yep. Now we've got to work out how to stop Nick White. Mm -hmm. Dougie Brace fell. Who'll know? Mate, Nick White on the weekend caused absolute havoc around the AB defender. Thoughts? Who's Nick White? I was just gutted my bet didn't come in. Murph would know. Oh, Murph, Nick White. All right, yep. Uh, hit him off the ball. Elbow to the head. Yeah, nice. Ben, last five minutes of the game, how do the boys nail that drop kick? Don't ask me, mate. I play cricket. Murph. Murph. What do you reckon, Murph? Enough, enough. Get the f out of my house. You mind if I borrow that toothbrush? F off. <laughs> Oh, well, we've got all the answers from all the experts down here, Dagger. I think we've answered all the questions that needed to be answered for Bledisloe 2. I agree. Back to you guys at the breakdown. <laughs> Scott Johnson, who's the director of rugby for Australian rugby, joins us on the paddle now. You've just heard Foxy. He's going hammer and toe. But we, we went that direction. Those two on there, I'm not sure. They're getting Jacob. worse. They're not, yeah. The longer I don't want to see them at the end of the week. What are they going to come back weighing is what I'm concerned oh, about. Oh, no. No good. No, not looking too good. I'm glad they just kept their clothes on in the shower.